Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got a very special unboxing for you. And we are going to be opening the Spider-Man Homecoming Limited Edition gift box. And I finally got my hands on this after a few weeks of searching. And I'm so excited and happy to get this in my collection. And very excited to do the unboxing and get this review going. So this retails for about $25.00. And at the time, there was three available at the Walmart that I went to, uh, not too far away from where I live, uh, just the next city over. And I was actually going for the Chrome Pops, and I picked up the yellow one and the blue one that I needed. I ordered four of them online. Well, three of them my friend ordered, and I ordered the orange one on a Saturday. So they, the four of them came in, but they were all damaged after I, I picked this one up and the two pops. So I had to search for them uh, at other Walmarts. But anyways, uh, finally got my hands on this, and I'm so excited. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, and I just love this box. This box is awesome. It's inexpensive, but if you're going to go and buy it online, it's going to be very hard to get, and it's also very expensive uh, on the flipper side because I think this thing is going for like $70, $80 on Amazon. And I saw a ridiculous price on eBay for like 120 It was crazy. But it's just the hype, right? It's going to die down and hopefully they restock. And I wish you the best of luck if you haven't gotten this one yet. So let's take a look at the front here. Uh, there's like this kind of casing over the box and at the time when i picked this up there was three of them the first one i picked up it didn't have the film and i was very excited i was going to walk away with it and then i went back i was like there was two more let me go see if i can find a better box because the one that i saw was like had a lot of scuffs on the front and right behind the one i picked up was this one this was all filmed up and ready to go and it had the sticker and everything so i was like okay i'm just gonna get this one and so happy to have gotten this and let's take a look at what's inside we got the exclusive collectibles Funko Pop vinyl figure the Spider-Man comics or comic covers box also includes Spider-Man Homecoming Blu-ray plus DVD that is crazy fun Spider-Man socks obviously and a collect collectible I can't pronounce that collectible Spider-Man enamel pen I have recorded this like seven times and I can't get it right but I'm just gonna go ahead and get this done at the top we got spider-man homecoming limited edition gift box title and on the side we have exclusive spider-man collectibles the classic spider-man comic covers book and the Funko Pop I don't figure whoa this is the first time I've seen the back I've just been mesmerized from the front that I didn't see the back that is very cool. Big ol' lies, Spider-Man. Fans of Spider-Man will love this. Yes, they will. So this was a gift box. A gift from me to me. Because I love Spider-Man. <laughs> um, like I said before, or if I haven't said it, uh, it took me a couple weeks to finally get this. Very awesome. So excited to get this opened. Here we go, guys. My wife is very excited to watch the movie. She's like, open it already. So I can watch the movie. But I'm like, hold on, hold your horses. I gotta do the uh, the review here. I gotta do the unboxing for my channel. For my fans, for my viewers. For the people out there. For the Funko collectors. No fans, but <laughs> just the uh, people who watch the video. So, here we go. Nice beautiful box and I like how this uh, this cover here has the spider web so you can see there's like scuffs so the first one I picked up I had a whole bunch of them just because it didn't have that protective film but here we go oh my god I'm so excited guys I'm so excited for this unboxing so we got the little socks oh man I can't wear this crap I was hoping I could wear the socks <laughs> but these are too damn small. They might fit my wife. She has small feet. Oh, dude, this is. Look at that. <laughs> it's not gonna fit me. It's gonna fit her. This is uh. Oh, this is small. Oops. So this is Ultimate Spider-Man socks. It's not from the movie actually. 
shoe size, small, four through seven and a half. So this is the black um, socks there. Sorry for the lighting. It just kind of picked up from when I uh, manually focused there. Small socks. Putting that aside, and here is the movie. There we go. There's the lighting back. Sorry about that. Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital. So for me, this is a very cheap box. Very awesome collector's box to get if you're a huge Funko collector or Spider-Man collector. This is a must-have because you get this awesome pop and you get the movie. And the movie alone, Blu-ray, I would imagine would be like 20 bucks or 25 bucks or something like that, Blu-ray. Even fifteen, even at fifteen dollars, it's still cheap because the Funko Pop would probably go for twenty or something. I wish they had an exclusive sticker on it. That'd been nice. Here's a Spider-Man pin for all you pin lovers, for all you pin collectors. There you go. Is this Funko? Nope. It's just for monogram, but still a pretty sweet uh, pin. It's like the original Spider-Man head. Very cool. I do apologize if my voice is a little rough. It is 11.20 at night, and I usually go to sleep at 9.30, so it's a little late. Whoops. Let's take a look at the comic here. Through the years. Oh, so this is cool. This is like... Oh, that is so awesome. There's the first... That's the debut of Spider-Man. And then, like, the debut of, like, Hobgoblin, Goblin... Oh, that is so sick. I gotta look at that later. Super sick. Oh, look at that. There's a Spider-Man head right there in the back of the box. Okay, so let's take a look at this Funko Pop. This video is going to be a little bit long just because, you know, it's uh, multiple items in this box. Box, 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 box. We're going to say box a lot in this uh, video. So we got Spider-Man hanging upside down on his web. I don't know how this pop is going to stand up. I have no idea. And he's a bobblehead. And he's holding a chemistry book with both hands. And in one hand, he has the pencil. Very interesting. Don't like how there's scuffs on the front of the box already. It kind of sucks. Probably rubbing against the uh, cover uh, here of the gift box. And just got those scratches, those window scratches, kind of lame. So it's going to be very hard for those minty collectors to get a very nice box. There's Spider-Man 259. Awesome. Finally got my first hanging Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man 259. I got this one. I don't have it. Do I have that one? I don't have that one. I wish I had that one, though. Here we go. Let's dive into this unboxing. But before we do, I'm going to pause this video because it's going to cut off soon. All right, here we go with this unboxing. Whoa, they really added a lot for this hanging Spider-Man. Wow, I didn't think they were going to go all out like this. So he is on this weird see-through plastic platform or whatever that's holding this this piece, which should be concrete, and then his web. There he stands. Obviously, this is going to stand perfect. Very cool. Paint job is very nice on his head. It's a very simple pop to do, right? So let's take a closer look, guys. Guys, his eyes, eyes, guys. There's like a detail in his in his white eyes. You can see like the pattern a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Closer look. And his eyes have some uh, around his eyes the black paint or whatever. It's like this little uh, pattern and obviously a spider web pattern on his head very cool 
than on his body. So he's holding the chemistry book. Are there pages? Yes, there's pages. I see pages. I see pages. Good, Funko. Did a good job. And he's holding his pen. A little, uh, little paint error there on his index finger. And the, the pencil looks kind of funny. Looks like it was, they were trying to sharpen it, but they failed in the process. But doing those little details, like the little silver at the end, and then is there orange at the top? Nope, there's not. It's just like silver. But I would give him A for effort. And then you got the little logo on his chest. Very hard to see, guys, because of the lighting and shadows and all that crap. Ooh, I twisted his head. Go back. There we go. Oh, crap. And there we go. His little boots. The suit looks really awesome, man. I like, I like the detail, those lines and stuff. Then the back. The original logo. Very cool. And then the black on the top, on the back of his suit right there then the web let's look at the web sorry guys i'm bumping into the camera here wow that is so cool man love this pop so much awesome 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 so glad i have this one 